A jogger heard her barking in the woods. Uh, I think it was like almost uh, 9 or 10 o'clock at night. He just thought it was weird that a dog would be in that part of the woods. So being a, an animal lover, he went back the next day and saw her tied to the tree. We received a message on our hotline about a dog that was tied up. And uh, supposedly he's been tied up since last night. One of our trainers happened to be in the area. So I sent him there. And it took me an hour and a half to get there. And for the hour and a half, he couldn't get anywhere near him. She was petrified. I mean, it was total fear. Yeah, here he is right here. It's right there. It's yeah. right there. I tried to get her to get my scent. She's real apprehensive of, of someone getting in her little circumference. Greg is here now. We're going to see if we get this dog out of here. Where she was left in the woods, it was completely covered with brush. I, I can't even fathom the reason that anyone would do that. This is where this dog is, off the Bronx River Parkway. Hey. She was on like a little, it was like a two foot chain. So I, I, I knew it was fear based. You know, you just have to be calm and really that's the key to it. If you're calm, they'll calm down. It's okay. It's okay. We came stocked with food, hamburgers, and sandwiches. It's okay, baby. So once uh, I started feeding her, she calmed down a little. Okay. It's okay. Keep eating. Keep eating. When I was able to slip the lead around her neck. Come on. Here you go. Let's go. It's okay. Come on. Get out of here. It's okay. Come on. Okay. Okay. Come on. She was still a bit confused at that point. She was still in the back of her head. She didn't know if it was totally legit. Job well done, bro. So the first day I took her for a walk. On that walk, she was like looking at me like, all right, this guy's legit. I, I, I think I'm going to be okay. Good girl. Good girl. The next day, I was able to start petting her with my elbow. The elbow method is you don't have to raise your hand and you can still touch her and then once she gets the affection with the elbow, then you can start using the hand. It was at that point that she really did come out of her shell. She's awesome. I call her happy ass because she's just always happy and this is her MO right here. Always smiling, the tongue out. She's just a good girl. She really is. Good girl. Thank God for the Good Samaritan jogger. And thank God he went back the next day because not too many people would do that. With time and patience, you could turn any dog around. Some dogs take a day, some dogs take a year. But if you have time and you have patience, any dog could be turned around. That's a fact.